welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial I will show you how to make this paw print coaster and for this tutorial you will need a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook a darting needle to weave in your ends scissors to cut your yarn and I am using, oh, I lost the label for this one. I think this is um, Dope or Dark Yarn in Peaches and Cream, I think. And I also have a scrap of Peaches and Cream in white for the border. Alright, to begin, we need to make a magic ring. And chain two. And we need to make 15 double crochet into the ring. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. So I'm gonna go double check if I have 15 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, And now we can slip stitch to the top of chain two. So this is chain one down here and chain two up here. And we slip stitch. To begin round two, we will chain one. In that same stitch, we're going to put one single crochet. So we go back to that same stitch and put one single crochet. And we'll put one half double crochet the next stitch. And one double crochet the same stitch where we put the half double crochet. So you need to go back in there and put one double crochet. Okay, 
and we'll put two treble the next stitch One and we need one more. And that's two. And two treble the next stitch as well. That's one. We need one more in there. And that's two. And two double crochet the next stitch. Oh, that's one double. And here's a second double. And we also need to put one half double crochet the same stitch. And single crochet the next stitch. And half double crochet the next stitch. And we'll also need to put one double crochet into that same stitch. One double crochet into the next stitch. And one treble into that same stitch and one treble the next stitch and into that same stitch we're going to put one double put one double crochet the next stitch and we'll also need one half double crochet into that same stitch and we'll single crochet the next stitch And half double crochet the next stitch and into that same stitch we'll put one double crochet and we'll put two treble crochet the next two stitches so There's a one and two treble to that one stitch and two treble into the next stitch as well. And two double crochet the next stitch and we also need to put one half double crochet to that same stitch And into our last stitch, we are going to put one single crochet. And we will just leave our slip stitch 
alone. To complete round two, we're just going to slip stitch to the very first single crochet. So this is the slip stitch. Here's the chain one with it, and this is the first single with it. So we go in there and a slip stitch. Now we are just going to chain one and cut the yarn. And pull that all the way through so we'll make a knot there. Okay. Alright, we should have something like this. And to attach our white yarn, we are going to go into the slip stitch we just made, which is this one right here. Insert our hook there and we're just going to attach our yarn by chaining one okay and in that same stitch we're going to make a single crochet and single crochet the next two stitches and I'm just weaving my ends here as I go and we will put two single crochet the next five stitches and we will put one single crochet the next two stitches and single crochet three together so what that means is we're going into the next stitch yarn over and out that stitch and into the next stitch yarn over and out and into the next stitch yarn over and out that stitch now we have four loops on our hook we yarn over the last time and go through all four of those loops and now we're going to put two single crochet the next six stitches And now we will single crochet three together. And 
single crochet the next two stitches two single crochet the next five stitches And we'll just put one single crochet the remaining two stitches so one single crochet in each it's one next two now we can cut the yarn here And I'm going to actually do a invisible join. I'm going to go under the first single crochet stitch with it for round three. And go back to the last single crochet. And I'll just weave the ends at the back. And I'm just going to go ahead and weave the rest of my ends here since I already have the darting needle out. So I'm going to go ahead and weave that off camera and I will meet you back in a minute. Alright, I am back and I weaved in the rest of my ends. To start round four, we're going to locate the single crochet three together followed by two single crochet the next stitch. So if you look so this is three so three together and the two single crochet in one stitch. So if we count back, here's the three together and one, two, three. This is where we need to insert our hook and we will grab And we are back on the initial yarn. So we are just going to chain one to attach. I'm going to chain one more. Okay. And in that same stitch, we're going to make two double crochet. one need one more and that's two and three double crochet the next stitch And we will skip three, so one, two, three, and then in that fourth 
stitch we are going to make three double crochet And three double crochet the next stitch. Okay, and we will skip four stitches. So one two, three, four, and that fifth stitch, we're going to work three double crochet. That's one, two, and three. And we will work three double crochet the next stitch. We will skip three stitches. So one, two, three. And that fourth stitch, we're going to work three double crochet and we will put two double crochet the next stitch half double crochet into that same stitch and that completes round four or row four and now to begin row five we're going to turn our work. You will see the stitches up here. We will skip two stitches. So one, two. And in this third stitch, we will work three double crochet. So skip one and two into this third stitch. We will work three double crochet. Okay. And the next stitch, we will work three double crochet as well. We will skip the next two and slip stitch into this space. So we go in and slip stitch. We will skip the next two. So one, two, and that third stitch, we will work three double crochet. Two and three, and in the next stitch, we'll also put three double crochet. Okay, and 
and skip the next two and slip stitch into the space. And skip the next two and three double crochet into the third stitch. Three double crochet the next stitch. So that's one. Two. And three. We'll skip the next two and slip stitch into the space. Skip the next two and three double crochet into the third stitch. And three double crochet the next stitch. And we will slip stitch to this space at the end here. So just go in there and a slip stitch. And we can cut our yarn here. And we are going to chain one it all the way through and we'll make a knot there okay so now we are gonna work on the border so we need our white yarn again okay now that the front side is facing us we are going to attach the white yarn to the base so we're going to attach it right here, not here, but here. So insert our hook there and attach the white yarn by chaining one. Okay. And along the side, we're going to put one single crochet into this chain one down here and go in there and we are going to single crochet and We are going to go into the slip stitch from the previous round and we will make a single crochet there. And we single crochet the next two stitches. So, so one. two and we'll put two single crochet the next two stitches that's one it's two single crochet and we'll need to put two single crochet the next stitch as well okay so that's one 
next two and single crochet the next two now we are going to propose treble so yarn over twice and we're gonna go to the base of that border I'm going to go in and out and grab a loop and over and you just do as normal and that brings you back to the top again so we're back at the top we're going to Put one single crochet the next two and two single crochet the next two one And single crochet the next two we are back between the prints again so we're going to do a pump pose so yarn over twice and we are going to prompt pose the stitch down here to pump Prompt post trouble to the base. Okay, and that will bring you back at the top. So we are going to single crochet the next two stitches. That's one and two. And two single crochet the next two and single crochet the next two okay. and you in between the prints again we are going to prompt pose treble. So we yarn over twice and then go back down to do a prompt pose. Okay, and that should bring you back up top so we're back at the top and we're going to do a single crochet the next two stitches and two single crochet the next two and single crochet the remaining stitches up here so one single crochet and one single crochet the next stitch okay and on this side we are going to single crochet along the half double crochet stitch so a single crochet there I'll put one single crochet down here as well. Okay. And now I'm ready to cut the yarn. Pull that all the way through. And we need our darting needle 
to do a invisible join. So go into the space and we're gonna go back to where and then we're gonna go back to this stitch the last single crochet we did go back in there and just weave in the ends along this side whoops So I'm going to go ahead and weave the rest of my ends. And I'm going to meet you back once I have my ends waved in. Okay, so here is my finished paw print coaster. Here is the front. And this is how the back looks like. So if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, I do crochet tutorials every week. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you won't miss another video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.